Okay, so here's our order of operations. Drez Clipper first, 110 days. Elu Clipper next, that's 135 days. Uh, Jew Clipper one next, 100 and, uh, well, it's a little bit close between the Jewel Clipper and the Elu Clipper. I think we'll have to do the Jewel Clipper one first for the encounter, but its periapsis is later than the Elu Clipper, so we're gonna have to go Drez, Jewel Clipper one, Elu, Jewel Clipper 1, then Jewel Clipper 2. Okay, Drez first. Okay, we are in Drez Encounter. We are a little bit high over Drez. Going to try and correct it if I could see the planet. This is always the thing with Drez. I can hardly ever see it. There it is. That's good enough. Now let's see what uh, getting into orbit is going to cost. About a thousand it looks like. A little bit more than a thousand. Okay. Uh, let's do some science. I think, uh, I don't know, We I am planning to land though, so I don't think I can do a goo container. I doubt I'm going to be able to do it. Well, let's get at least one goo container, I guess. Hi, Overdrez. I'm going to trans... Well, you know what? Uh, hold on a sec. Let me uh, check for contracts, just in case a uh, contract popped up while we were on our, on our way. And then maybe we'll get something more out of this. And in fact, that bet was good. We've got science data from space around Drez as a contract. Pick that up. Uh, otherwise, it doesn't look like uh, we have anything here that has to do with... Let me uh, get rid of some contracts in order... Well, that's, well, that's worthless. Uh, science data from space around Minmus. Forget about it. Parachute over. Forget about it. Looks like those. That's only gonna give me. Uh, I'm not gonna do plant flag on Eve right now. Oh, they they they're very insistent upon that. Yeah. Okay. Everybody wants me to plant a flag on Eve. Typical. Um, that's a lot of science. So I'll keep that. Um, in fact, I'll actually. Oh, well, duration 106 days, we'll probably miss that completely. Um, yeah, alright. I, I don't think we're going to get a good one. Let's go back to the Dress mission. We've got the one contract for that anyway. So now, uh, we've got the contract uh, Transmit or Recover Scientific Data from Space Around Dress. And in fact, I'm going to do that right now. Okay, I'm going to transmit this little data. Okay, fulfills that contract. And I don't feel too bad about using the goo container then. Okay, let's get into orbit. Wish we had gotten one of the more complete Explore Drez contracts. Well, let me check one more time, just in case fulfilling that contract gave me something. Well, oddly enough, I just got another science data from space around Drez, so... Okie dokie. I'm not gonna test the mainsail splash down. I'm really not going to test the main... Oh, for God's sakes. How about if I get rid of plant to flag on Gilly? Nope, it's not going to give me anything I want. All right. Actually, just with these two Drez contracts, we're going to be able to pay for all the missions. So that's, that's pretty significant anyway. And of course, we do have to explore Jewel, explore Bop, and explore Paul contracts, which, which will give us even more. So this has been, well, we can't even see our funds from here. Uh, so it's going to be lucrative anyway in terms of both science and funds. Hopefully we'll get a lot more science, though. Okay, we are now on our lander stage. Okay, I think we're uh, good for a landing. Let's just pick a spot. I'm going to retro burn now. Say around there. 
Now we need to do some science in space around Drez. Perhaps a thermometer scan would do. Let's see now. It's the science junior. Ah, it doesn't let me do it here. Uh, there's nothing for it. I might have to use the other goo container. I'd rather fulfill the contract. Uh, no, let's reset that experiment. We need to be low over Drez. How low do we have to get to be low over Drez? We're already at 25 kilometers. Near Drez. We're going to keep that data in the hopes of recovering it. If it turns out that we don't have enough Delta V to get back, then I'll transmit it. Do I want to pass this ridge or not? Will I even clear it? I think I should retro burn now. May over here would be a good spot. See how we are with regard to the surface. Oh, the fuel lines aren't working out. That's always fun. Gotta love when that happens. Uh, so I'll have to feed it manually. Okay. Did I forget to put fuel lines or are they just not working? I guess I might have forgotten to put fuel lines. There's no IVA view for me to take a peek at what the actual altitude is. down. Okay, successful landing despite uh, some fuel imbalance. Let me uh, fix that up right now before we ever try to take off. Okay, so now Science Junior. We will keep that data. Thermometer scan. Keep that data and probably this is not gonna work right okay so no barometer scan obviously I think now the the transfer point between Drez and Kerbin is with Kerbin 30 degrees ahead that's gonna happen pretty soon actually but probably not sooner than our other missions getting in it's probably gonna be more than 30 days I'll have to monitor that situation though. But probably what we can do is get into orbit already. Yeah, we've done all our science here. Let's let's go. Now it is a possibility and possibly my intention to put a capsule on top of this same lander and uh, perhaps get similar results so we can eventually hope for crewed missions after this depending on the fuel margins the capsule is a little bit heavier than all these science parts but I think a Kerbal mission to Drez is is easily doable if we can get this back. Alright, it's in orbit and now we will turn to to Jewel Clipper 1. We are here with Jewel Clipper 1 and it's a tricky one because we're heading into Lathe. This, this probe is destined for Lathe and it's going in the ret uh, retrograde direction but since we're using Leif's atmosphere to slow us down, I don't know if it matters, really. Yeah. 
I don't think it matters. I don't think we need to reorient or anything like that at all. What we might want to do is uh, see if there's any tiny little change to our orbit that will get us closer to Lathe. Maybe dip us directly into the atmosphere instead of just high above Lathe right now. There we go. 20 kilometers sounds like it'll definitely bring us down, but we want to get down over land. That's the tricky part. But we'll aim for 20 kilometers right now, and then I'll use arrow braking calculator later to get the exact amount once we're in Leif's sphere of influence, which will be in a while. Um, looks like we enter in 13 days. This note is in seven days, but we're going to do it right now and hope it's cheaper. Got to be careful, though. All right, that's enough. So we'll be coming in like that. All right, and on error baking calculator, I'm going to have to remember that I'm coming in retrograde. Okay. Very interesting. Now, as I take a look around, I think uh, Kerbin really is getting to be about 30 degrees ahead of Drez. So maybe I'll plot that transfer first. Let's see if that's, that's doable. Uh, from this view, it seems like we are less than 30 degrees. Maybe it'll be all right. Okay, maybe I should just wait a while. This is definitely not going right. It's going to cost a lot to get back home. Hopefully I have enough. Okay, uh, but I think I have to wait for a 30 degree angle. This is less than that. Let's take a look at the Elu Clipper. Gonna bring it into Elu sphere of influence now. Okay, and hopefully a mild orbital adjustment will be enough. Okay, well that's the general angle anyway. Let me just aim for it and start burning now. See what our periapsis is. Oh, that's great. Okay. <laughs> Maybe a little bit too close. Let's see how much it'll take to get into orbit around it. Lots. Lots and lots. Well, let's not uh, waste any time. Let's do one goo container here. Transmit that data back. Okay. And I'm going to focus on this and I'm going to make a landing. Hope uh, nothing else is pressing. Jewel Clipper 1 uh, still approaching Jewel, I think. Hope. Okay. Okay, please let the permafrost not be thick. Please let the permafrost not be thick. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna begin retro burning here. Probably a little bit late, actually. Oops, wrong one. Got to do the second mystery guru now. In space near. Okay, I'll uh, I'll transmit. There's no way we're gonna come back with this. Desperately trying to make orbit here. 
definitely misjudged how long this will take. Okay, we have, well, we have a crash course, basically. I'll fix that at Apoapsis. Let's get over there quickly. Now, before I do anything else, I'm going to check for contracts to do with ELU. I'm always an optimist when it comes to contracts, but uh, we don't seem to have an ELU thing. We do have a Tylo thing, no Leif thing though. We're already aimed for Leif, so there's no point. But I'll take this extra contract of science data from Space Run Jewel. We'll definitely be getting that done. Uh, but right now we've got our pl other planets. If you're wondering, uh, Jewel Clipper 1's Leif encounter is in four days still, so we've got time on that. Okay, I've got a uh, plot to 416 kilometers. Uh, this initial burner is going to take 1,573. This one's taking 936. I don't think we're going to get back. But let's try the burns anyway and see what happens. I don't think this thing has enough. Okay, well this is going to take a while. I'm going to start burning now. Uh, okay, it says 2 minutes and 30 seconds, so maybe a little bit closer. Okay, I transferred the last bit of fuel from the outer tanks in. We might be able to make this burn, but I don't think we'll have enough juice for for the mid-course plane change. Fortunately, that, uh, that 5 degree difference between Drez and Kerbin is a little bit too much. Okay, I'll have to make an adjustment to this one. There's no way we have 900 Delta V left, but uh, hey, I guess we should go by the numbers instead of just making assumptions. So, calculator's out. I get 706 meters per second on this. Yep, I don't think we can do anything about that. If we tried to land on Kerbin, we'd need the parachute. So, no point. I mean, I don't know if we lose mass if we fire off the parachute. I haven't ever tried that. But uh, no point in doing it since it's not enough. Maybe I can try to replot to see if there's any way we can uh, get this down. Okay, I think I got it. It's a uh, ye old hit the node trick. So, yeah, we can't get the home and transfer, but because uh, that would take the full plane change, but we don't have to do the plane change if we aim for the ascending or descending node. In this case, I'm aiming for the ascending node. And let me fine tune it a sec here. So we're not doing the plane adjustment. And this is going to be fun. Again, the trick with this is you have to hit it pretty, pretty nicely. You can't be too far off. Okay, I've got it within 500 kilometers. That's good enough for about here. 231 meters per second, which is well within our budget. And, yeah, so this, this is good to go, actually. Uh, in 26 days, let's go to a tracking station and see the new orbit. Let's go to a tracking station to see the new order of operations. So, what do we have? ELU Clipper is just in orbit. I'm just going to hang out there until we want to land it. The Jewel Clipper 1 is aiming for Leif Encounter in 4 days. Jewel Clipper 2 has got 49 days. Trez Clipper 26 days until its mid-course plane change to hit Kerbin. So I think the most pressing thing is Jewel Clipper 1. Okay, I'm going to be bringing it into the Leif Sphere of Influence now and and we don't have much time to figure this out. We got like, what is that? Uh, 20 minutes. Less than 20 minutes. And after that, it'll be too late. We already uh, aimed for Leif's atmosphere. There's no guarantee it's got to be enough to slow us down. We are going. 5,000 meters per second in orbit, but wait till you see what we are doing with respect to Leith. 
God, how how high are we gonna be above Leif when we start this encounter? We're we're looking pretty close to it, aren't we? Okay. So here we go. Seven minutes. Let me see what I can do. Seven thousand seven hundred and six meters per second. Okay, I think uh I think air raking calculator says I'm not too far off right now. It says something like 17.7 uh, kilometers. Let me see if I can uh, swing a little bit closer then. Nope, that's the wrong way around. It's funny. No, that, no, that makes sense. Okay, I don't want to risk too much. Uh, 17,974. Let's see if that's okay. Could be... Could be risky, actually. Let me go a little bit higher than that. I don't have enough thrust to... Well, no, I do have plenty of thrust, don't I? I'm still on the LV T45. Okay, we can go like this. And then... Uh, Flip around and bail out if necessary. A little bit risky, I guess. With the Jewel Clipper 2, we'll, we'll do general Jewel science, hopefully, a little bit. But we'll have to reserve the Science Junior for Tylo. Which reminds me, uh, oh, yeah, we haven't done the high over lathe, have we? All right, let's transmit that now. Just to make sure we get something out of this. Okay. There's Lathe, and uh, unfortunately it's on the dark side. But here we go. There's like uh, Earth orbital velocities we're hitting its atmosphere with here. Very fast. Now somewhere in here we can get a barometer reading, right? <laughs> it's very persistent about that but here I'm gonna keep that data guess we'll have to wait for the ground for the barometer reading whoo wee g-forces look at that go now more than 15 G's and I believe it Oh, it's going to spin me. Oh, no, it's spinning me. I can't control it. Actually, I'll just let it go ahead. I am not particular at this point. Just get me in orbit. Actually, prograde is a good idea. If it uh, decides to pull me down too much, I'll be able to affect an escape. Right now it's uh, still struggling to get me into orbit. Amazing. Uh, we're out of the worst of it. It's still giving us drag, but perhaps not enough. Better try to swing retrograde. I don't think we're going to need to worry about not being able to escape its grip. 
think we need to worry about not getting into orbit but we'll give it some time now it's an hour and seven minutes to escape that's decreasing okay so that was too high let me retro burn good old LVT45 how low are we on the periapsis side? Well, we'll adjust that on apoapsis. Ah, not much land to uh, to poke at. Probably all on the nighttime side, but I think Leif should revolve a little bit quickly. Let's see, Apoapsis is still a bit high. Okay, and let's get to Apoapsis and get into a proper orbit here. I don't suppose any company is going to be interested in orbital science around Lathe, are they? Probably after I finish it all, it'll finally give me a contract. Okay, that should be a decently stable orbit, but we're going to have to figure out way, where we want to land. So, Elu Lander is uh, in orbit around Elu. Jewel 1 is in orbit around Lathe. And, uh, yeah. I think we'll le let it hang out here for a little bit. Yeah, let's take care of uh, Drez and Jewel Clipper 2 before deciding what to do with this. We'll leave it in orbit around Lathe. Wow, just solid ocean. I do want to hit land if I'm going to land this thing. <laughs> 